Hi, I'm John James Minster, and you may know me from my horror books. Today I'm in the ruins of Bethlehem Steel, which employed the entire town from 1857 until its bankruptcy in 1995, and where truth is even creepier than fiction. Steel produced here built America. It also killed over 500 steel workers in spectacular, horrifying ways. A male figure in a red jumpsuit walks right where I'm standing. Possibly the revenant of Earl Vogel, a big man who played Santa for Little League parties. Third degree burns had stripped all flesh from his body except on his feet and a small strip of skin under his belt. His wife watched him die slowly in agonizing pain. The highest fatality count of any U.S. steel plant with the worst corporate safety record of all time. Deaths included burial alive under a pile of coal, explosions, falling concrete and steel walls, scaldings, crushings, even plunges into vats of molten steel. If there is a hell on earth, this must be it. Shadows of figures are spotted constantly here. And here. And here. And here and here. Owners and managers never come here. The vengeful dead may not be alive, but they are not gone, and they want payback.